and uh, welcome to the 29th of June. Boy, have I been lazy when it comes down to vlogging. I just, I just, I don't know what it was. I just couldn't be bothered, basically. But I'm back now vlogging. I've uploaded a vlog. And honestly, nothing very much interesting has been happening. Nothing very different. So um, there was nothing really to film, you know, apart from me doing housework, just the usual. But I'm just back. Um, from the shops I went to Primark just to pick up a couple of things because we've had some amazing weather here in Scotland I don't want to spend too much money because we don't really get amazing weather too often so just picked up a few things for kind of messing about in the garden with and one of them is this little summer dress here it's very loose fitting it's very not me but I'm loving it it cost me six pounds and see just for messing about in the house I absolutely love it really do I picked up this jumpsuit again six pounds just for messing about in the house I got some new jammies because all my summer jammies are too tight and they annoy me so I just got them I had to size up in these ones just for extra comfort and also got these as well in my normal size and love everything especially my dress well oh, I think I've got visitors wait till we see I do look who's here my granddaughter and my son have arrived Let's go see them. Hello! Hello, everyone! Hello! What have you been doing? This is the day your yeah, nominee yeah. looks after you, but daddy's off work now. Come here. Ella. Ella. With no sandals on, no nothing. Ella, Ella. What? Hello, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun with my carers. <laughs> my carers. <laughs> she needs carers. <laughs> Cheers, girls. <laughs> Good morning. Just a quick view of what the pajamas look like. And very comfortable. Absolutely love them. So these are my PGs from Primark. Right, now to get dressed. Morning face. No makeup. Morning face. Yep. So, highly recommend. I think they were about eight pounds. I think I'll wear the jumpsuit today. Yeah. Don't think I'm going to the gym either because I've got my granddaughter. Um, she wasn't well last night, so um, I think I'm going to need all my energy for Georgie today. I'm dressed. Got makeup on. I'm going to go and do a video. I'm going to go and do my favourites, which um, will probably be up by the time I put this up, so I'll link it below. Um, I don't often do favourites actually, but I decided I would because I've got a lot of things that I want to um, show. By the way, did I say it's the 30th of June? It's the 30th of June and I'll show you what I've got on. I have on my play suit or jumpsuit whatever you want to call it from Primark and it cost me six pounds true to size I got it in a size 10 the only thing that's annoying and I'm going to strap them up at the back is that these keep falling off the shoulder and it really annoys me so I'm just going to put a wee strap at the back just pull them together and kind of yeah so they stay there. The only thing is I'll have to unfasten it every time I um, go to the restroom. So that's what I've got on today. I've also got some, uh, I put some Dove uh, tanning lotion on my legs as well because they were looking a little bit pasty. I don't often wear um, tanning solutions. I've got kind of an all right colour. But because everybody else is wearing them just now, it's making me look pale. So that's, this is what I use, Dove Nourishing Body Care Visible Glow Self Tan Lotion. And yeah, 
Looks okay. Okay, it turns out my granddaughter didn't come round after all because she really wasn't well last night. So they decided, Daddy decided to stay home with her instead rather than bring her out the house. They don't really know if she's maybe suffering with hay fever or whatever. I sat down to edit my two videos. I had one comparing my Pochette Metis to my um, Palm Springs Mini. I'm feeling really shitty just now, by the way. Um, because, oh, anyway, anyway. So I sat down to edit my two videos. I had my Pochette Metis comparison with my um, Palm Springs Mini. Didn't like it, so I thought, no. Nope. So I thought, right, I'll edit the one I did this morning, which was my June favourites, and I sat there watching it, and I was boring myself, and I thought, do you know what? If I'm boring myself, I'll be boring everybody else. Just in one of those moods, so not editing that. So I decided to refilm. So I refilmed, started editing again. Looks a wee bit better, so I'm, I think I'm going to upload that when I finish editing it, but I'm really upset about my mum just now because I don't know if it's the heat, I don't know if it's the next stage of her dementia, but she's not holding her own weight at all. Trying to walk her now from her room to the bathroom, we're basically dragging her there. So I'm really in two minds. I don't know what to do. I don't know now. I really don't know what to do. I've been fighting with her dementia all the way and I think that bloody dementia is winning because it's just <coughs> taken her over. I just, I stood and I looked at her there. <coughs> it's just a horrible, 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 horrible disease it just it's taking so much away from my mum <coughs> you know it's a beautiful day and I can't even bring her downstairs I can't I'm in myself the carers would have helped me bring her down and I just know trying to take her back upstairs the last time I had her downstairs was on Thursday after her bath <coughs> and basically halfway up my husband and I carried her and she's a ton weight because she doesn't hold any of her weight so I'm gonna have to maybe get a stair lift in for her or move her downstairs because I don't want her stuck in that bedroom. She's been stuck in that room now since Thursday. And apart from that room to the bathroom. And I know probably she doesn't know any better. But I just feel it makes it worse. Just sitting on that chair. I can't be in that room all the time. I've got things to do. So I'm just in and out the room when I can. It's just so bloody hard. It's so, so, so so hard to see my mum looking like that she just looks worse and she's we're still having problems we think she's reacting to the catheter because she keeps getting sores on her legs you know the carers are strapping up the tubing and oh, i'm just having a bad moment i'm just having a bad moment that's what's happening Anyway, still lovely weather out there. Oh, onto something else. Look what I ordered. Got fed up of all the flies, so I ordered this net for my door, which I put up myself. Look, and even my dog can go through it. So this is all magnets here, so it just pulls apart to go through. And then just clips together. <coughs> so... I put that up all by myself and I could it's just velcroed onto the door and I could just take it off and I don't want it there so yeah because I hate the flies coming in and then they dirty my windows because they spray their spraying stuff on the, oh so that's what I'm doing 
Cheers. That was my wine for my video. So it's um, white wine and sparkling water. It's my new summer drink. Cheers. Can somebody please find a cure for dementia? Oh. Oh. Okay, I am here with Mama. Carers have been, they're away, and we had to use the hoist. I don't know if anybody has seen how these things work, but they are horrendous, they are horrible. Watching my mum being lifted in one of those things, basically hanging, oh, it's just horrible. Yeah, she's, she's just got, I told them, whilst we were putting her in the hoist and getting all that done, I just put her nightdress on as well. So, I've taken her out of the onesies, it's far too warm for onesies and she's past the stage of needing a onesie and the onesie was to stop her basically pulling pads and everything off and she's past that stage now she's quite content content to sit there with her nighty on anyway it's been quite a stressful day today because she went from walking one day and basically not being able to hold her body weight the next and I don't know if there's an underlying problem or if it's part of dementia it's Saturday like I said today so it's it's the weekend so I'm gonna wait until Monday and I'll phone and maybe get an occupational therapist just to reassess everything and take it from there I think the this hoist thing that they put her in this thing here I think that's actually too small for her now as well which makes it look tight and horrible so I'm going to get the nurses out the occupational therapist maybe ask for a doctor and just see what's going on because like that my mum can't tell you if she's in pain it's up to us to kind of figure it out and the carers and I are trying to do that so that's what we're up to today so that's my mum had her medication giving her her medication and I have been struggling today with my mum's dementia because I've just seen her take a turn for the worse and there's nothing I can do nothing nothing I can do to make it better and that's the struggle that's the hard bit I just don't know what to do I just don't know what's I keep I've got this I did this when I first found out she had dementia I kept thinking I could make it better that's you know if you've ever watched my dementia videos you know that's the denial stage and I feel as if I'm going through that stage again I feel as if I'm in denial again that she's not getting worse not accepting the next stage because I dreaded this stage I dreaded the stage of her being bed bound I'm sorry if this is quite a low video I don't mean it to be there I don't mean it to be like that but I'm all about real life and that's real life that's the horrible part of life and I know there's thousands of people out there dealing with so many other things <sighs> I just I just feel so bad for my mum I just feel so bad bad for her she's going to be 77 in November if she sees November <sighs> oh anyway I think I'm gonna leave it there 
Where are you going? Are you going on hold? Oh, have you got your hair? Uh oh, that didn't stay on very long, did it? <laughs> You're going on your holidays. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fix it. She doesn't normally bother with things like that. <laughs> Is it not nice? Oh, <laughs> Georgie, Georgie, are you leaving Georgie, me? Let's go. Bye bye. Bye, yeah, yeah. Love you. Ah. Uh. Bye, yeah, yeah. Bye, yeah, yeah. Kisses. Bye, yeah, kisses. Hello, and welcome to the. 4th of July. Yep. I've just sat down for a wee coffee with four dogs. I'm now uh, doggy sitting as well. So I've got, I'll just show you. We have, look, oh, he's going to knock my coffee. Here we have Boris right here. That's quite a demanding dog because he just likes a lot of attention. We've got my Lily there. Look at him, he's just climbing everywhere. And then we have little Bo, miniature dash hound. I'm just going to get a cushion to sit on because I'm wearing my Karen Mullen shorts, white shorts. There we go, that's what I'm wearing just now. Makes a change from the gym gear. And I'm having one of these cashew crush things with my coffee. Sure. Can't, put it, can't even put it down because Boris will eat it. It's the last time I spoke to you. I think I showed you my granddaughter going away on holiday. It was the last bit of footage, which was yesterday. I was having a really feeling sorry for myself day yesterday. And my boys are, my boys are quite <coughs> often tease me and say that she's me being <coughs> spoiled child. Um, yeah. <coughs> Shush. I've just been feeling quite down because um, I had the weekend with my mum where I thought she wasn't going to walk again. She's shuffling. I'm still managing to move her from the bedroom to the bathroom. But I have now decided I'm going to get a stair lift because I cannot keep my mum. Dog. I cannot. It's just very unfair to keep my mum in a room. For the rest of her life basically so my house is looking more like a nursing home every day but that has been my choice and that's what i'm gonna do and it's such a shame because the weather is glorious just now and i want to get her down so that was that was pulling me down boris no then on Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, my husband got the call that his mum was really ready to leave this world. So we rushed up to the hospital to see her. She's still with us. So we've had that as well. And then back to my son going on holiday I just feel everybody's going on holiday just now <laughs> I'm feeling sorry for myself and I'm not going on holiday this was supposed to be like a family holiday so Ruth's mum and dad are away with them we were gonna go but we just couldn't manage so I felt a bit left out basically just being a spoiled child as usual Today, I'm focusing on getting myself organised for the Hindu, which is on Saturday. So I'm glad I've got that to look forward to on Saturday. And I've ordered a Valentino bag just to see it. I'm just not in the frame of mind of spending all that money on another bag, basically. So, 
been thinking it over since last week. And I thought, I'm gonna order it. And it really, I have to like fall in love with it instantly to get it. I mean, it has to be amazing for me to keep it. If it's not, I'm gonna wear the dress, which I'll show you eventually. Might even be on the next vlog, but I'll be on my Instagram. Um, I'm gonna wear the dress. I've decided what dress I'm gonna wear. I know the shoes I'm gonna wear, which are my Manolos. And um, if the bag isn't amazing, I'm going to just use my Chanel Jumbo because it's got the silver hardware. The shoes have got silver hardware on them as well. So I'm just going to use my Chanel Jumbo. It does look big for the outfit, if I had to be honest. But hey ho. How often are you carrying your bag on the night out? Do you know you're sitting it down most of the time? Whereas the dressing shoes are on all the time. Well, shoes are on most of the time. Sometimes I tend to kick mine off under the table. I'm talking an awful lot, aren't I? But I really haven't been in the mood. Especially yesterday, I was I'm just such a spoiled child. Just wanted to go on holiday with my son, daughter in law, and my granddaughter yesterday. That's what I wanted to do. So that's what I wanted to do yesterday, and I wanted my mum's dementia to go away, basically. But life is not as simple as that. We just deal with it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and throw this ball because <laughs> he just keeps bringing it and dropping it. So hyper, man. And he's pretty good at catching. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> Four dogs, not easy. Let me tell you, not easy. Hello and welcome to the 6th of July. I've been to the gym, I've done three classes. I was just out playing with the dogs. And then these two packages arrived. So I'm going to film a quick unboxing of this one and then I'll finish the video off. Again, we don't know if this is a keeper, but I'll try the outfit on and um, we'll see. This package here is from Louis Vuitton and it's for my daughter-in-law. It's for her 30th. I'm in my gym gear. Doo -doo. Still got lovely weather. Nice cool breeze today, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to go unbox that today basically i'm just going to get myself ready for the hindu tomorrow night i always have that door open um yeah so tomorrow i'm gonna i've got the hindu starts about half one i'm going to my friend's house at half past one for champagne and then we'll go into glasgow and celebrate so i'm excited for that i was needing something exciting to happen this week so i'm just gonna prep myself today and do my nails and all that i'll do my nails last thing at night ready for tomorrow because i'm at the hairdressers tomorrow morning i'm gonna get my roots touched up not the full color just get the roots touched up because you know me and i'm quite paranoid about gray roots and um that's basically it i've been asked asked questions about my knees yes my knees are clean my knees are clean but that's just the color of them i don't know why my knees are like that but that's the way they are <laughs> must be spending far too much time on my knees but i don't know why my knees are that color they just are i just have really dirty looking knees for all those that wonder why my knees are that color we're all different so I'm gonna go do the unboxing. Hello and welcome to the 7th of July. I think it's the 7th. Let's go with the 7th. Um, yeah, I'm just back from the hairdressers. I've just had my hair all curled and I'm trying to get ready for the Hindu. So I don't remember if I've said, but anyway, I got the bag that I was waiting for, but the wrong one arrived. So this is the Valentino and the one with the gold studs and the gold chain arrived instead of the silver studs. So I'm now thinking of using one of my classics here. I think the problem with the classics is, right, so these are the shoes that I'm wearing and I will show you the outfit. So these are the shoes, so I wanted the bag to match the shoes. 
that is a lot more creamier this is more of an ivory colored so yeah so even that really doesn't match so the dress is black and this ivory lace through it this is a Karen Millen dress so I'm now thinking of taking one of my classics problem is this has gold hardware and the buckle here is this kind of diamante and silver jumbo has silver hardware but I feel it's too big for the whole outfit so I'm now going to do my makeup I'm going to quickly um, get my makeup done and then try the whole outfit on and decide on a bag who would have thought a bag would cause so much dilemma at the moment my phone's going crazy at the moment I'm just wearing and this is actually how I went to the hairdressers um, just a uh, my pre-marked dress which is great just to throw on and I just had my Nike slides on and that literally what I was wearing so I just I did my nails and everything last night and just um doved and just put some dove on my legs like so that's where we're at so I'm just gonna get my makeup on check my messages and we'll take it from there I'm supposed to be it is now Coming up for 25 past 11. I'm supposed to be at my friend's at half past one. That's what I have on my nails. So, makeup is done. Outfit is done. Quick outfit. So I have a Karen Mellon dress on, which is really rather old. I'm getting a little tight. Pearl necklace um, given to me on my wedding day by my mum and dad. My Dior earrings. That's pearl necklace, which was a gift from my mum and dad on my wedding day that's not turning around so yeah caramel and dress my novels and that's basically the outfit rolex hermes cartier and just a diamond bracelet and just my ring just usual we are still trying to decide on a bag we have currently we have three sitting here well <laughs> actually we've got one two three four I've carried that to the hairdressers. That's the bag I was carrying. And my jumbo, classic flap, and the Valentino. That's the Valentino. Like so. Which has um, put me in a notion now for a rectangular Chanel. Yeah. Jumbo, which has a silver hardware, but I just feel it's too big for today just looks too big for this outfit I think I'm gonna go with this even though it's got gold hardware that's the one I'm feeling so I think that's gonna be the outfit